If you are looking for a laptop under 60,000 and you want a durable metal chassis, a great keyboard and touchpad combo, a gorgeous display and most importantly, good performance, then my dear friend, this video is for you. You see, for good performance, you should go for the latest Intel 13th Gen H series CPUs where the H stands for high performance. But the reality is, getting such a laptop under 60K is very difficult. Sure, you can get the 13th Gen Core i7 powered Infinix Wi-Fi Max, but it is only a U-series CPU powered device. Now, you can also get the Infinix Zero Book, which you can get with the 13th Gen Core i5 H series processor with 16GB LPDDR5X RAM and 512GB SSD, but it ends up being a slightly heavy 1.8 kg laptop in the end. So, that's where the Honor Magic Book X14 Pro enters the scene. With an Intel 13th Gen i5 H series processor and with a rather low body weight of 1.4 kg. In terms of pricing, the 8 GB variant costs Rs 54,490 on Amazon and 16 GB variant costs Rs 56,490. And no, you cannot simply swap out the RAM because it uses the LPDDR4X format and therefore is soldered to the motherboard and non upgradable. Now, we have the 8GB variant here, which is good because we shall see what can this base variant do and whether this laptop as a whole is worth it or not. Also, stick on until the end because I am going to tell you some very great laptop recommendation under Rs 40,000 and 50,000 as well. So, straight up, the Honor MagicBook X14 Pro will remind you of the MacBook. The sleek profile, the minimalist design, the keyboard layout and everything else screams inspired by Apple. But that's good for us because it also means premium build quality. The laptop deck area is metal and it feels very solid and so does the laptop lid. So the overall build quality is very very good and very premium. Now the Honor Magic Book is quite slim at just 16.5 mm. For comparison, the MacBook measures at 15.5 mm thick, so the 1 mm of difference is barely noticeable. This thing just weighs 1.4 kg and remains highly portable and that portability becomes one of its main selling point. In terms of I.O., you get two USB type A ports, a USB type C, an HDMI and a 3.5 mm audio jack. So in this department, you are pretty much sorted. But because of only one USB type C port, which is also used for charging, you can only use Type-C accessories if you unplug the charger. Also, speaking of charger, the laptop does come with a 65W charging brick, but it is so wide that it becomes really difficult to plug it anywhere. I mean, come on, Honor, what are you doing? Apart from that, this laptop comes with one of the best keyboards in its price. I mean, the keys are really mellow, they feel very cushiony to type on and have great spring action as well as a good amount of key travel. It is also very silent. Here, take a listen. The next best thing about this laptop is its display. It is a 16 by 10 1200p display with good brightness levels and sRGB color space coverage. It is also surrounded by thin bezels on all sides except the chin, which makes the viewing experience very immersive. Compared to the previous gen HonorBook X14, this one features a slightly brighter screen but a less color accurate display. However, I don't think you will notice it that much because for most use cases, this looks absolutely fine. While the screen is pretty good, I don't think I can say the same about the speakers. They sound hollow, tinny and lack any kind of pace. It also has a very small sound stage. Matlab, if you're listening to any song which has many instruments playing in the background, you won't hear them properly. Just take a listen. Baki, this thing at least redeems itself in terms of performance with a single and multi-core score of 2366 and 10049 respectively. And because the single core score is more than 2000, this laptop becomes a powerhouse in terms of basic tasks like opening or closing apps, running software like Word, Excel and much more. The multi-core performance is also good enough for designing stuff in Canva, 4K video streaming, running Photoshop and so on. But what this thing cannot do is gaming because it lacks a dedicated GPU. I mean, I did try running some benchmarks on this thing and here is the result. 
Now this is where I think that an AMD Ryzen version would have been really good. Because of the powerful integrated iGPU, it would have helped you play older games at least at low settings. Now in terms of battery life, the laptop really impressed me though. Delivering 532 minutes in PC Mark 10 office battery test, so I am pretty sure that this thing can last you one full work day, provided you are not using it too heavily. Now all that is good, but Honor is still using the LPDDR4X RAM instead of the LPDDR5. I mean the Infinix ZeroBook Ultra, which is now costing less than this for the Core i5 variant, uses LPDDR5X RAM which is much faster. Also the Honor Magic Book uses a slower SSD compared to the Ultrabook as well. So should you get this thing? Well if you don't mind the tinny speakers and the slightly outdated RAM and storage then the Honor Magic Book X14 Pro is a great device because what it's meant to do it does pretty well. It is a great and highly portable office device with a keyboard and touchpad combo that you will highly appreciate. Just go for the 16GB RAM variant because it is 2024 and the 8GB RAM variant will start to hang if you do heavy multitasking. Now before I wrap this thing, my recommendation for a laptop under Rs 50k would be Infinix ZeroBook Ultra featuring Core i5 H series 13 Gen CPU and my recommendation under 40k would be MSI Modern 14 featuring the Ryzen 5 7530U APU, 16GB RAM and 512GB SSD. So that was it for the review. Do let me know if you have any questions related to this and I will see you guys next time. Until then, like, share, subscribe and this is Yatnesh Dubey signing off.